I'm Kara, and uh, I'm Métis, and Icelandic, so I'm iced tea. It's <laughs> been working for me so far. Uh, I, was, I was in Flint, Florence, where I grew up, as Taz mentioned, and uh, I was sort of a weird child growing up. I chose random characters from movies to be for my Halloween costumes. Like one year when it's Garth from Wayne's World. Yeah, and another year when it's Forrest Gump. <laughs> Not a lot of friends. Uh, then I decided to go with Charlie Chaplin, which was the biggest mistake of my life. Because there's just nothing more terrifying than when you're 11 years old and you're mistaken for Hitler. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking to get a Kit Kat, and instead I'm getting screamed at by an old man about the Holocaust, and I don't know what that is. <laughs> Does the Holocaust have nuts? <laughs> I have an allergy, so <laughs> didn't need to know that. I was also one of those kids always running away from home all the time when I was about five or six. You know, for the stupidest reasons. My parents tried to make me eat carrots or take a bath. I don't need this abuse. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm five. I take care of myself. Can you tie my shoes? <laughs> Maybe get me a snack, some goldfish crackers. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I can get a job. I'm five. It's going to be great. Has anyone ever been so lazy that instead of doing a load of laundry, you just wore your bathing suit under your clothes? <laughs> just me tonight? Okay. Just checking. That's so awkward. Um, <laughs> I don't really know... That's a good pause. I don't really know why uh, where all this vampire stuff has come from. It's weird. It's, it's everywhere. The Twilight stuff, you know, and like Vampire Diaries. And it's so weird to me, like, where this phenomenon came, like, it doesn't make sense. Why are these guys sexy, tasty, creepy, blood-drinking guys in the basement? Why is that hot? When I was in grade 8, it was like the Backstreet Boys, you know, with their abs, with their shirts off, playing b-ball in the music videos. It made sense, you know, they were 27, I was 12. It made sense. <laughs> you know, I don't get this whole thing. I was trying to figure out when, when it all started, when the vampire thing became, when came cool, and I remembered Sesame Street. The Count. Come on. He, well, he had everything a girl would want. He's purple. A girl doesn't like purple. He's good with numbers. That's sexy. He had an accent. We like accents. One, two, three. That's my gout. I don't know why I have to... <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why I have to move my shoulders when I make the accent. That's the only way I can do it. Um, it's weird. I was, I was a big drinker in Flin Flon, kind of a pastime when you're in a small town. Um, not a lot to do, you know? So we, we called it getting loser pissed, uh, LP for short. And just drunk enough that I'd enter like a wet t-shirt contest, uh, but I'm the only contestant. And I'm standing in somebody's kitchen, and it's noon. Um, I mean, I win. <laughs> But I also lose. Yeah. That sucks. It's kind of weird. The, the fun is when, you, is when you get so drunk, it's like you have the blackout thing. That's always fun. You know, don't have any memory of what happened at all. I just wake up naked in my bed with half a Subway sandwich right here. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure I got hungry. And I hope I didn't have sex with a sandwich. <laughs> that would be weird, I think, to develop a sexual relationship with a sandwich. But it would get my mom off my back. She's always like, drop to zero, get with a hero. And I did. I did. So. Shut up, mom. <laughs> did it. Uh, my mom is so great. She's, she's a typical mom of always mixing up the names and places, like of everything, titles. She can't get it right. My favorite band to her is Cold Plate. That's my favorite band. She called HMV HIV. <laughs> like loudly in a mall. <laughs> hey, Kara, you want to go shop at HIV? No. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> what am I going to buy at HIV? A Magic Johnson t-shirt? I don't know. Oh, please, the man's beat AIDS at this point. <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a Brady Bunch DVD. The dad died of AIDS. <laughs> Sorry, these are facts. <laughs> I also don't like children. 
or babies. I don't discriminate. <laughs> just in general, don't like them. I just, I don't know what their purpose is. I just don't get it. I've even tried really hard to connect. Like I tried to have like a real heart to heart conversation with a six year old once about my relationship problems. I just really got into it and just like, you know. And he interrupts me in the middle of like, where do babies come from? Like, really? You're gonna interrupt me right now with your like science question? This is important. This is important. You gotta listen. I even tried to like give a four-year-old girl a simple task of making me a sandwich. She got peanut butter everywhere but the bread. Are you kidding me? You can't even make a sandwich? How are you gonna function in society? <laughs> And I even tried to play a game with a kid once. That, I thought, was a simple thing. Play a game with a child. That, that seems reasonable. No. So if you play with a child, you have to lose. It's like the law. <laughs> I have to give up my joy of winning because of what my opponent lacks in age, personality, and dart throwing skills. It's not fair. I think it needs to stop. I also can't watch anything on TLC. They have shows on there like, I didn't know I was pregnant. Awesome. Thanks for the nightmare juice. I don't need to sleep ever again. That's fine. That's kind of what I was planning. So that's good. And it doesn't matter what show is on there, they always have the grand finale live birth. Like, it doesn't matter if it's a baby story or toddlers and Sierras or police women of Memphis. Live birth at the end, guaranteed. And what do they always do? They blur out the vagina. Why? They should blur out the baby. That's offensive to me. I don't want to see that screaming bloody bastard coming into the world to ruin it. I don't want to see that. I'm sorry, that was too far. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have made fun of the fake baby I made it for this show. <laughs> you know what, though? I think we can all agree that kids are ultimate annoying in the world. They are so annoying. And in that way, they think they would have a good purpose if we use them in, like, interrogation. Like, with terrorism. You know, it's like, just bring them up with a terrorist have a little interview going on, people would go pretty quickly. Something like, where were you? I was asleep in my bed all night. Why? <laughs> because I was very tired, I had a long day, I was exhausted. Why? Because I had to do some reading, some prayers. Why? Because I want to get to heaven. Why? Because I want my seven virgins waiting for me when I get there. Why? Because sex with a virgin is always better than a pure woman. Why? Okay, I did it. I blew up the building. I did it. I did it. I did it. Why? I did it for Allah. Who's Allah? You can see some kids getting killed in this process. But it'd be worth it. It'd be like little heroes, you know? Little soldiers. Giving their lives to the country. I think it would be really cute. This would really be good. I don't know why the, the terrorist had to sound like the vampire. That's true. I can only do one accent. Uh, apparently. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I love cell phones. I can't get enough of those. They're everywhere. You know, I love people texting through dinner with me. It's great. And the ringing everywhere I go, it's just, it's just so great. And I just don't understand why no one will turn them off ever. And the only time I've ever seen it happen is on a plane. People will turn them off on a plane because there are mortalities at stake. We don't know why. Interrupt the tower, the landing gear, it's risky. It's weird being up there as it is, so we don't want to take the risk. Everybody shuts them down. But like in a hospital, I, I don't think they're supposed to use them there, but I still see people using them because it might interrupt someone's grandma's breathing machine, but hey, not your grandma, make that call. <laughs> it's, it's important. <laughs> Gotta find out what happened on the hills last night. <laughs> call your friend. And the worst is movie theaters. Like, I can't believe we can't go two hours without using our phones. And I feel like we could change that if we just maybe brought in, like a sniper, I don't know. <laughs> Put their mortality at stake, you know? <laughs> Bring in the sniper, have them wake the back, watch for the light, give them the red laser warning, you know? <laughs> oh, good. Right. And if they pick it up anyways, take them out. <laughs> no one's disturbed. Silencer. <laughs> I'm glad we're all supportive of this. This is good. It's going to happen, people. Uh, yeah, a small town girl that I am, I, I didn't have a lot of things growing up that, that are in the city. I still am sort of adjusting to things. Like, I never had McDonald's. And it kind of freaks me out every time I go in there. You know, there's just no adult supervision. It's kind of like walking into Chapter 8, Lord of the Flies. 
Kids in the back scarfing down burgers and Ralph's at the front taking your order like a psycho. Yeah. Ronald McDonald's heads on a stick dripping blood, maybe. You know we all got that joke. We all finished grade eight. Yeah, good for you, audience. It's great. I also, uh, I never heard about vegetarians growing up until I got to the city, and I thought that is the stupidest crap I've ever heard in my life. We're the only species on the planet that question eating meat. A polar bear doesn't stop in the middle of like smacking down a baby seal and is like, you know what? He's really cute. <laughs> He's adorable. I'm gonna eat ice. There's plenty of ice. I'm gonna do that. It's just stupid. And I also, I never had malls growing up. That's kind of weird to me. I don't know, the scene at malls can be kind of scary. Every time I walk into Portage Place to sort of take a look around and I want to call Crime Stoppers and say, yeah, I found everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys have been a great audience. Have a good night.